Happy Friday. Thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to be part of a devotion with me. As you know, on Fridays, we take a look at our upcoming gospel reading for the weekend. This coming weekend will be in the Gospel of John, chapter 8. So this is John 8, verses 31 and 32. So Jesus said to the Jews who had believed in him, If you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Maybe a familiar set of verses for you. A couple of reminders about why these verses were selected for the upcoming weekend. This coming weekend is when our church, like many, many other churches, will celebrate the Reformation. The anniversary of the beginning of the Reformation so many, 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 many years, even centuries ago. In addition to commemorating, remembering the Reformation, this weekend at Zion, we'll also celebrate with our newest confirmation class. Our confirmation class of 39 will be confirmed at our 1030 service, and they'll be confessing the faith of our congregation and joining us no longer as children, but as adult members. So my guess is that a text like this, John 8, is chosen in part because... Well, when we celebrate the Reformation, part of what we're doing is we are celebrating a rediscovery of scriptural truth. It's our belief that the Reformers didn't make up new things, but instead successfully turned the church back toward the original teaching of the church, just to say the original teaching of Jesus and the apostles. So, Jesus asking people who are around him to abide in his word, and to know the truth, that makes good sense to me. Likely also these verses are helpful to us in remembering the truth of our Reformation heritage because only Jesus sets us free. We experience that, as you know, by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone, as recorded for us in Scripture alone. And all of that is incredibly important and helpful to remember. Hope you know that, remember it, think about it this weekend and in coming days and weeks, etc. But in addition to remembering that truth, you and I, as current disciples of Jesus, we should also make sure that we set aside time to do as Jesus encourages here. Jesus doesn't simply tell them the truth and ask them to give their yes to it. Instead, he encourages his disciples to abide in his word. And I love that phrase. Not something you just peek at every once in a while, but you dwell with and in it. And in abiding in his word, you and I can then know him each and every day a little bit more as the truth, as the way, the truth, and the life. For our closing prayer, I selected one from the I don't know, I guess it's the first page of our hymnal. This one is from this one is for before worship. We pray. O Lord, my creator, redeemer, and comforter, as I come to worship you in spirit and in truth, I humbly pray that you would open my heart to the preaching of your word, so that I may repent of my sins, believe in Jesus Christ as my only Savior, and grow in grace and holiness. Hear me for the sake of his name. Amen. Hope you're having a great Friday. Thanks for stopping in, spending some time with me, abiding in the Word of God. Look forward to seeing you soon.